Hi, I'm Jeff, a product specialist here at Red Court Software, and I'd like to take you on a little tour of Virtual Time Clock Pro Edition. The Pro Edition has advanced time clock features and allows any number of employees to clock in and out from a single computer workstation. In this video, I'll show you how easy it is for employees to clock in and out, some of the time clock administrative features, and some common configuration settings. Because Virtual Time Clock is software that you download and install on your computer, you launch it just like you would any other computer program, typically from the dock on a Mac or by double-clicking the desktop shortcut on a Windows PC. The time clock opens to the in-out board list, which makes it easy to see who's clocked in, who's clocked out, who's on break, and who's at lunch. The in-out board is just one of the interfaces that is available for your time clock. You can also choose the pin interface, which allows employees to clock in and out with a numeric pin and great for use on touchscreen computers, or a passcode interface, which allows employees to clock in and out just using an alphanumeric passcode. Now let me show you how easy it is for an employee to clock in using the in-out board. First, they simply select their name from the list and enter their unique passcode. Now they'll select a time clock action like starting their day. The Pro Edition allows you to select from different activities. Activities can be used to track time against different projects, jobs, customers, or even locations. The in-out board is instantly updated with the employee's latest punch status. When the employee is ready to go to lunch, they simply select their name, enter their password once again, and select lunch. When the employee is ready to view their hours worked, they select their name and click time card. This will show all of their regular and overtime hours for the current payroll period. They can either print a hard copy of their time card or save it as a PDF and email it. Next, let's take a look at some of the administrative functions. First, we're going to turn Administration on from the File menu and enter our administrative password. The Administration window displays the same in-out board list we saw earlier, but adds an administrative toolbar with common functions. You can modify and delete entries. You can add a manual entry, for example if somebody forgets to clock in, or you can add a leave entry. Let me show you how easy that is to do. First, I'm going to select the employee. I'm going to pick the leave category. I can select the date the leave occurred and how many hours. The time clock has over a dozen built-in reports. Let me show you a couple of the most common. The time card detail report will generate a time card showing each individual punch time for all of your employees. The time card summary report takes the same data and consolidates it into one line for each employee. I can export my time clock data to a tab or comma separated text file, and I can approve my employees' hours for payroll processing. Once again, I can look at the individual time cards. I can make any necessary edits. The time card is recalculated and flagged that an adjustment was made. I can sign off that the hours are ready for payroll processing and I can generate a payroll report. I can open my mailbox where I send and receive messages to other time clock users. And I can make a backup of my time clock data. Now let's look at some common configuration settings for your time clock. I can add a new user or edit existing user information. I 
I can assign my employees to an overtime rule. I can set up different shift rules. and assign them to an employee schedule. I can set up how leave is accrued and calculated. and I can set what rules are in use for my time clock. I can assign managers. And change the time clock interface. You can set the payroll frequency. and enable electronic time card approval. Finally, you can set when your work week begins and if you'd like to apply any rounding rules to employee time cards. Closing the configure window will take us back to time clock administration and we'll want to close time clock administration so employees can begin clocking in and out. We can do that one of two ways. We can go back to the file menu and turn administration off, or we can switch to user mode. The time clock is once again ready for employees to clock in and out. If you'd like more information about virtual time clock, including pricing and the differences between the basic pro and network edition, please visit us online at www dot redcourt dot com